It is appointed unto men who wants to die, and after this, the judgment. You're coming to a nightclub to get drunk, and all you have to do is trip over someone, hit your head on the dance floor, and you will meet God. We want to tell you sex with that man outside of marriage, young lady, is not worth your soul. We want to tell you sex with that woman outside of marriage, young man, is not worth your soul. The Bible says, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? To all the Catholics in line, newsflash, there is no purgatory. That's a lie. That's a lie from the pit of hell. There is no waiting room. Do you realize there are things that God hates? He hates drunkenness. He hates liars. He hates hypocrites. He hates your sin. And your sin is going to take you to hell. But it doesn't have to be that way. In your sin, naked and exposed, the hells are open waiting for you tonight. I'm not speaking. I'm not speaking to the one who came here with guilt, who's actually hearing this message, who's ready to repent. I'm speaking to every single one of you without ears to hear, who has rejected the Son, who say, I love Jesus and continue in your darkness. Continue in your lust. Continue in your fornication. Continue in your sexual immoralities. Continue in your drunkenness. No drunkard has any inheritance in the kingdom of God. It's not enough that you go to church and still continue in your sin. It's not enough. You need to repent. What's that, sir? Oh God, you, you need to give your life to Jesus too, man. I fear God. I only fear. I don't fear man. I fear God. You need to repent, man. You're on your way to hell. I'm going to tell you the truth like it is. Why we out here? That's why we out here. No, that's the, that's why you need Jesus, man. You need Jesus. And listen, if you want to have a conversation, come on over and have a conversation. We're here, man. We're not going anywhere. We're going to tell you the truth. So we need you. We, we, we're, we're telling you, man. Listen, and this is most, it's the most loving thing to tell you the truth. That if you know, if you die in your sin, you die without Jesus, you're going to wake up in a, in a burning hell. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man. I know there's some dispute within Christian communities about the practice of circumcision. What is, what is your opinion on circumcision? And whether or not you should be circumcised in the children. You're, you're, you're supposed to be uh, circumcised, but when it's talking about circumcision in the New Testament, it's talking about circumcision of the heart. It's a change of heart. Yeah, yeah. It's not a sin. It's not a sin, but you have to change your heart. That's your only question you have? That's, it? That's what's bothering you? Is that what's bothering you? How, how, is this, how is the circumcision of your heart? How is your heart posture towards God? I, I love Jesus. How do you love Him? Jesus said something very important when when when, when someone says I love Him. All the time. When 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 like when am, am I? Is there a point in time where I'm like I'm not supposed to love Jesus? Well, the, the, there's a verse in the Bible that talks about. Do you know that verse? The, there's a verse in the Bible that specifically talks about loving Jesus. Do you know what that verse is? I think there's like more than one, but like... <laughs> well, G Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Okay. Are you keeping his commandments? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> well, the, 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 well, the language is one thing. Coming out here is another thing. Mocking God is another thing. Being drunk is another thing. Listening to wicked wicked music is another thing. Coming to places that promote sin. So. The Bible says it's a foolish person who says there is no God. Are you foolish? Are you saying that there is no God? No God. Well, the Creator, well, then you're foolish. You're foolish. You're foolish, then. You don't know, please. There's no coincidence that you are hearing the gospel today like you've never heard before. So, my friends, wake up. Wake up. Jesus is coming. And that is not a comforting thing for the one who's walking in willful sin. That should be a fearful thing. And the Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. 
My friends, you are not going to be able to go to church on Sunday and, say, and then come out here and sit on Saturday. Listen, politics is one thing, but what there's more, and, and I understand that, right? There's corruption in there, but that's why we when we come out and preach the kingdom of God. We preach that, uh, well, if you're all about it, I want you to consider really standing for God. Because at the end, that's, that's all that matters. This, 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 this world, that, yeah, so that's the thing, that's the thing, so that, that, well, see, what well, Jesus said this word, and that's why we want to take it hard, because we know that, I, I grew up Catholic, so I know what is, what, what's behind it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, but I, but, and, and this is common in not just Catholic, but even Protestant, when there's a false gospel, there's a, listen, there's a false gospel that says that you can say, confess your sins, and that you can say, you know, Jesus, but then you can, still live the same way. But when you have an encounter with Jesus, my friend, he changes you to where you no longer desire this atmosphere, to where you no longer desire to offend it. Okay. Well, then uh, give your life to him, man. What do you want to say? Are y'all lit? 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 Are y'all it means that sometimes they're, they're just like the word of God, like what they're ready to do, but they're not Jesus. You know what I mean? But it's strong. You believe in Jesus? Yeah. Why do you have to think about it? Because I have to say that. Well, how do you believe in Jesus? Yeah, like, do, 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 do you love him? Sure. Do you keep his commandments? Can I ask what you're doing out here? It's all uh, hanging out, having fun. We, 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 we keep renaming, we keep renaming, you know what we're renaming? We're renaming sin. Being out here and well, hanging out, that's a very, very ambiguous term, but like, are you out here? Are you, are you out in the clubs tonight? Yeah, hanging out. Okay, so that's a wicked place to go to. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, it's not going to work, guys, that those, you know, people fornicate and they're like, oh, we're just friends with benefits. <clears throat> people fornicate and they're like, oh, we, we're just having fun. People fornicate and they say, oh, we're just partying. No matter how you downplay it, no matter how many times you, you rename sin, it's still sin.